attorney. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, uh, we're going to take a look here at the TLT, which is the ETF for the Treasury bonds and Treasury notes. They use this on 20-year Treasury notes or bonds. There's a big discrepancy sometimes among traders, but notes are usually from 5 to 20 years, 5 to 15, and bonds are 20 uh, to 30. And this is what we're going to be looking at here. There's the big picture in the TLT, and this mim mimics the uh, Treasury bonds 100%, folks, because uh, that's how they hedge the thing is by using the um, outstanding futures, much like they do with the ES E-mini. But as we look at this, we've had a big move up in this run right here. Then we come down, and the first thing we do is we make our first ABCD. There's your ABCD. Now, it doesn't make the ABCD, so it's a little bit short. But the first tradable pattern on this, if we draw this in right where we stand, just a second here. Oh, dear. Little computer challenge. There's your 135 pattern coming in right there. That's uh, Now, a 135 pattern is you have the lower tops. Okay. There's your 1. There's your 3. And there's your 5. Correct? So when you're doing that, it's telling you that you have lower tops, which means you're in a downtrend. So what we're going to do now is we're going to measure the ratios from the high up to the low. It's going to come right to the old 50% retracement on this swing right here. And we're done with that one. And then we take the next swing, which is off 0.3. We come to that level, and that takes us to 618. So you have a 618 and a 50% retracement right here at 96.18, and it stays there for one, two, three days, and then, of course, it gaps down and starts its move down. The move down, just look at it again. There's your AB leg right here. Your CD leg's going to take you down here to the 1.618 level, and there is your exact 1.618 level right down here at 87. And now we've had a rally. You see, we had a really nice rally coming off that, as we should. We'll get that done because we don't need that anymore. And so we want to see where the rally is going to go. Okay, the first rally back from the high to the low comes in at our good friend, Mr. 382. And then it moves back. You can see this is a 78% level right here. That yields to the ABCD pattern. Just draw it in right now from the high that we made back here. There's your A leg right here. There's your B leg. There's your C leg. There's your D leg coming in here almost exactly at the 61% retracement. It misses it by uh, uh, less, uh, well, only, well, 94, misses it by a little more than 60 cents. That's quite a bit in bond terms. But look what's happened since that time. And this is what we were doing this past week. We got bearish at this point, as you remember. And this is where we are with the TLT. Now we have the same pattern right here, 135, only it's turned upside down. There's your one, there's your three, and there's your five. We did the same thing. You can see that's 618 or 707 and this one here. And remember, these are done to the microsecond. So, and there's your 618 right there. That's where, I, and look, we had the gap up, left a nice little gap in here. And so what I'm expecting now, because we are in a downtrend, and that's a major garley, all we're seeing is a rally up into this area right here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to switch over and go over to the Treasury bonds, hopefully. And uh, this has been one of my most challenging days for data, folks. We've had some real serious things going on here. First, we'll get the hourly up. There's the hourly. Oh, i got to get rid of all the, the secret Pesavento pattern stuff that uh, I don't really, don't really need that. But let's just get up here and make sure I delete everything and uh, – so we don't have to worry about that. Now what we're going to do is go to that daily chart. You're going to see the exact same thing. This is this is the same thing we were doing here as we were with the TLT. And as you can see, there's your 61% retracement. 
That, that's the profit objective of this A, B, C, D, or 135. 135, your first profit objective is right up in here. That was from one, uh, basically 116 up here to 118, and you can see we started to move lower. Now, there's two ways to look at this. If this is really a bullish pattern, in other words, higher bottoms, and we've had our first sell-off in here, we want to calculate what that's going to be, all right? So you need to go down to the hourly chart, and as you bring the hourly chart up, you can see this is that pattern that we're looking at. There's that 61% off those dailies back here. So we want to know where the first 382 is going to be. So you write it in here. And pay attention to this one, folks, because at 117.27, and mark that on the old dartboard because this could be a really interesting one. I don't have to go through the 382s with you again. You folks have been able to figure this stuff out for long enough, but that's their key level right in here. If it's got to hold this, if it doesn't, then we start uh, going lower. By the way, folks, this is the week for Tiger Dollars. So if you want a nice discount uh, helping us support us here at TFNN, uh, contact TFNN. Go to the website, and you can get your Tiger Dollars and save uh, you know, great savings. And we add some new folks every year on that, and we always need new people coming in looking at these things. Okay, so let's look at that. And the last one I want to do – because it's all part of the, the same thing that we're looking at here. And this is the biggest one, folks. This is the Treasury notes. Now, the Treasury notes trade six times the volume and open interest as the Treasury bonds. And there's a reason for that. The reasoning is that this is the vehicle they use to calculate car loans, credit cards, mortgages. All that stuff is based on what the notes are doing. That's why it's so much bigger. You'll notice on this last move, we had a very symmetrical 135 pattern on the bonds, but the notes, they had a higher bottom in here. So there were more support coming in on those than there were on the bonds. So that's a good sign. But by the same token, they're also weakening up right here. So there was your move. Let's just draw it in. You'll be able to see, just so you can see the comparison, because there is a difference. The Treasury bonds, okay, get it up here. The Treasury bonds came down to this level right here. Okay, the notes only came to this level right here, so they are the stronger. So if you're ready to short something, you want to short the weakest, which is the Treasury bonds, okay? So that's what we're watching right here. Now, let's just take a quick look. Since we're watching this, we want to see what the 382 is going to be. You can see a minor ABCD here right now, but looks like we're going to get down to this 382 here in the next day or so, and that's going to come down about, oh, that's not, that's only half a point, so that's really not very much. And these numbers are, are very powerful, folks. Remember the bottom coming in? There was your 382 on this one. Then you had a 38, let's just draw them in here so we can see them. And then you go up and you make your second 382 right there. Then you had your next 382 right there. That led to the ABCD up here, and now we're in a congestive move to the downside. So that's what we're doing. This is what we're going to be doing on Friday, folks. And then also uh, two weeks from today on the 26th, we're going to do live trading from 9 to 12. Should have a lot of fun. We've had a good day today for sure because we had lots of volatility, and that's what we're looking for in these markets. So take a break, 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, Education. Investors. 
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I have to share something with you, folks. I got some really nice gifts here. I have a new Billy Ray Valentine bobblehead right here. As you can see, there it is right there. And not to be forgotten is the one for Lewis Winthorpe III. As you can see, a bobblehead here. Each one of these is for sale here at uh, TF, no, not at TFNN, at Larry at Trading Tutor for $500 each. Unfortunately, these last two were the last we had, and they've already been sold, so you missed the boat. Here's the November beans this week, folks. We came here on Friday. We were coming in to a beautiful ABCD pattern right there. You can see we're pretty much right on the money here. It was right at the 382. It misses it by uh, three cents, 36. It got to 34. And now you see we dropped another 50 cents this week. What we're looking at now here, I want to get up here, get the weekly chart here on November beans. It's going back a long way, boys and girls. So what we're going to be watching here, this is going back. We haven't been this low on soybeans, folks, since uh, 2021, I believe. And that's where we, this is where we are right now. And all we're going to do now is just check the weeklies out because, you know, uh, folks, I thought there was going to be a big bull market starting in here. And it certainly doesn't look like here we are in July. You can see this year they, they bottomed here in June. You see that? Where did they bottom here? Second week in July. Okay. This, this is the growing season, folks. Now, let's just walk through this together. The first ABCD came in right now. This is weekly. Okay, there's your ABCD. That made it. Then it came up. All right. Now, if it goes up like it did, that makes this a 135 pattern. You can draw it across the top. You'll be able to see it. There's where we are. The one three. Look at the look, look at all this resistance here for six or seven months up here at $13. Folks, we're two dollars and a half bushels, a dollar a bushel lower than that right now. And that was just uh, on the 20 uh, last year on the 23rd. Okay, now here's where the time comes in. We got this one. We got this one and we got this one. This is making this like a three drive pattern, and it is a three drive. Let's just let's just do it the old chicken way. With you. There's your A B C D coming in right about here. The distance is not the way we like it. But there's drive one. There's drive two. This is extending out, so that means it's going to be part of this move right here. But this is the three drive. There's drive one. There's drive two. There's drive three. So we're going to draw those in. 
to see the picture because it uh, looks like we're getting really close here. And this is the time of the year to do it. We're in the second week of or first week in July, and we are setting at the – this one came down to the 1.27. We're at uh, a one point uh, probably pretty close to that. I don't see – there's 1.27. This is 1.414. Then we want to do this last one right here, blow, blow this up a little bit, and you'll see – where we are. And I want to show you the difference in these markets too, because looking at soybeans themselves versus old crop and new crop, see the 1.618 comes in down at this level here, which is 1050. So we could have another 27 cents to go to the downside, completing this much larger ABCD pattern in here. So now we're going to go back and I want you to take a look here quickly at the nearby soybeans. So we're going to come up here to show you there's a huge difference. They're still, they still want soybeans. They're not they're not, uh, nobody's missing them or anything, but listen, here's the August contract. And you can see it's now, you can see the difference is we're just now taking out the lows from April today. Okay. Now these, you can see where the, the uh, July, excuse me, this is August soybeans. The Novembers are already way down in here. So if we move this one over to the weekly chart. Okay, see, there was a nice bottom that came in here. We had a little bit of distance from a long time ago, but there was the bottom. Okay, now we're going to watch. Okay, in the last July, you see it was making a top instead of a bottom. The November beans were making a bottom where the Julys were making a top. So here's where we are right now. We've had a very – this is a weekly chart, so hang on. Bear with me here. There's your AB leg right here. There's your CD leg right here. And – comes in at 112.35, boys and girls, 23, and we are at 29 right now. See, we've had three weeks here at this level. The long-term weekly on this is at 1.618. You, know, you all know what that means. That's the one that got me in trouble in the NASDAQ, but that's for further discussion. Anyway, there's our number right here. So we're going to be watching it very, very closely. We've made lower lows in here the last few weeks, and we go back to the daily you're going to see that that's what these lows are doing. That's telling you you're making lower lows in here. That's exactly what we did. And if this is correct, we're within about six cents of possibly a pretty good bottom in the, in the soybeans. Now, let's look at corn. Corn is in a situation that they has zero friends. The only friend that it had was, uh, and he passed away about 30 years ago. Hold on one second here. You can see. These corn continues to make lower lows. You know, remember what I, I mentioned to you before. I said what you want to do is to wait to see when you get the first up close. Well, the first up close was right here, and if you bought it there, your stop would have been here, so you'd be out of it at that time. But there's no hope here for the corn. If we look at this on the long-term weekly, we're looking at the same thing. You see how they're see how these markets are just keep breaking and breaking. So. It tells us that we're going to be going down lower in the corn. That's why I haven't been spending much time with them because it looks like it's getting ready to get lower. But now we're only uh, 15, if I'm only 15 cents away from the really big ABCD down to 1.618, 395. The last time we were at 395 in corn was uh, way back here in 19, uh, uh, excuse me, 20. Looks like 2020 was the last time we were that low. So the other one that you have here, let's get this done. Just bear with me here a second, folks. You have one more pattern off this daily right here. There's a daily right here, ABCD, and that brings us in to today at uh, 412. We're already trading below that at 409. So my, my guess is we're looking at 395 would be the uh, thing that I would think we might be watching here. So, okay, give me a second here, and we have one other question about Mr. Appel. I won't, don't want to forget that. We'll cover some of those because I do want to show you uh, what I'm watching here. We'll get the daily up here, and it's still going higher, 128. Remember the remember this big one? Remember this big 1.618 that was supposed to hold right there at 21? Look how it held. Boom. Went through it like melted butter. That's why when you get above these numbers of 1.618, folks, there's really not much you can do except stand aside and buy more, I guess. That would be the, the problem. Now, we also have a question here about Tesla. That has been in a bit more of a downtrend than anything else. Let's get it up so we can see it here. Okay. 
There, T Tesla's is uh, up again. Oh, it's up again today, and it is uh, challenging the old highs back here. And we are setting at. Oh, look at that. We're right at the 786 right now. There's the 786 off of the high back in here. And that's where it is right now. And as you can see here, it's uh, certainly made it with this explosive move uh, to the upside. This was the little pullback right at the 618. Of course, the gap up gapped above the 61% at 1.618. It's told you that you don't want to stand in front of that horse. And it's been very, very bullish, you know, uh, ever since. Okay, now we've got a break and we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. No, no, no. It's a highlight of my day. 
Okay, folks, I want to go over the wheat market here. Wheat, wheat has made a higher bottom than we did back here when we had the report. Uh, the low that we made uh, today came in, excuse me, the, the low we made yesterday came right at the sixth one, so it's hold up well, but you see it hasn't rallied much. Looking at this, I'm, I'm watching these for a potential buy here. You can see here, this is a the big move down. Uh, there was our first pullback right here, and the rally back that we've had so far today from your high down to your low, you can see we came in almost exactly at the 50% level, but the key part here is that it did not make an ABCD. There's your ABCD leg, it's right there, and it misses it by only a half a cent. Well, my goodness, maybe it did it. So this is really important, and now what's happened is we haven't fallen apart like we have in the grains in soybean oil. Look at soybean oil, folks. This was our favorite one, of course. And we had a monster move in this. Let's get it over here on the long-term daily here. This was the one that – this was my favorite because of what happened to me in 1975 and 1976. We didn't get filled down here at the last low, but at this level here, the first up day – was on the day of the big report. In other words, all that negative news, and it couldn't go down. Boy, that was a sign that something was really interesting happening. And then we had this monster move up. And look how much it's given back here in just three days, folks. One, two, three, we've given back about $1,200 uh, pulling back. So we want to find out what this looks like on a shorter time frame. So what we'll do now is we're going to go uh, to the four-hour and that will, well, I think we need to get a little bit better than that. We've got to get down to the hourly chart because it's been straight down and we want to find some ABCD. So there's where we are in the uh, soybean oil. You could, well, today, oh, this is good. We've got to check this out. We were higher earlier in the morning here, but this high right here, I'll bet a nickel to it, to three cents. Hold on a second. Oh, I want to see, I want to be able to get these up here. The 382 off of this last move would have come in here almost exactly at the opening. In other words, it opens higher here, and then you can see it falls apart. The other one that we had here was yesterday in the soybean oil. You have an ABCD coming up right about exactly the 61% retracement. So now we're heading down, and we've got a big move here. So we're going to go back to the four-hour to find what the 382 is on everything. And there's the – oh, we're below that, aren't we? Yes, we are. Hold on a second here, folks. we got to do this. Get this out of the way. And we're going to take the low to the high, and we're going to measure that th – oh, dear, I see where it is right now. Hang on to your hats, folks. This might be a beauty. Hold on. And there's where we are right now. We're setting – oh, boy. This big bar here scares me to death, but we're right here. There was a number, 4644. And we're trading at 46.35 with about an hour to go, so I want to wait until tomorrow to see if this holds, and then we'll then we'll take a look at that soybean oil. This is the uh, remember, uh, you want to buy the strongest and sell the weakest. So this is the strongest along with wheat. So wheat and soybean oil will be the ones that you'd want to be looking to buy. Now I want to. I've got three minutes more. I've got two charts. People ask me about one is uh, hold on one second is Amazon. And I want to share a couple charts here. Now, here's Amazon. Let's get the long-term weekly up here because that's what I based a lot of this stuff on. Oh, no, no, no. That's the, the stock split. Sorry about that, folks. But you see, there was the number that I was looking at on the weekly basis for this. See, there was that number, $220, $200. Dollars, and we made $200 exactly yesterday that was yesterday now when i did the stuff thinking there was going to be a big top in the market what i did was i went and looked at the mega stocks and they have not violated what i was looking at first of all let's get this up here right now broadcom hasn't done very much at all okay we look at the next one up here which is amazon there it is right there it's, it's completed uh, absolutely perfectly the next one was smci still negative that's why it surprised me that the nasdaq could go up so much these are not moving very good there's tesla now tesla is here now at 260 i believe just pretty close to 260 so it's up a uh, no 256 so it's just a little above the level right here and the next one after that was meta and that is Reddit is breaking out that that's a flat out breakout 
There's your 61% retracement, exactly like the previous move. And then the next one we want to take a look at is the uh, Apple. And, of course, we just did Apple, and it has uh, gone much, much higher than we originally thought. And then here's uh, Google still right on the money. At, they're still trading there at that 195 level. And then if we take the next one, which is uh, NVIDIA, I don't know what it's doing, but as of yesterday, it was still not going crazy to the upside. And finally, the last one here was the Microsoft, and it was 4 to 463. 467 was the previous high. I don't know if it's up or not today because the Dow's been all over the map. So those are some of the ones that we're paying attention to. Now, an important part of this stuff that I do here, I want, oh, dear, this is not what I wanted. Hold on a second, folks. I've got a thing here from Jesse Livermore that I want to share with you, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it way I, the way I have it formatted right now. It's the uh, rules that uh, Jesse Livermore lived by, and I wanted to share some of those with you. Also, to bring it to your attention, I'm following this daily here because this is the E-mini, NASDAQ, and open interest, and you can see the volume and open interest is falling off, folks. So the stuff that's happening now is most probably short covering. The problem is short covering can last a very long time. And uh, maybe it's two days, three days, three weeks, I don't know. But the fact that it's doing that is, uh, you know, uh, quite important from what we're watching uh, right here. Had one other question, and that was about this uh, August 8th thing regarding the President Nixon. That was the first time we had a sitting president resign. And we're probably going to have one soon enough, or maybe not, who knows, whatever. But anyway, it was on August the 8th, and the market dropped 50% into the next bottom. That was a 50% 50 drop in the Dow from 1,000 to 550, okay, in a matter of five and a half months. So just be afraid. If it starts down, be afraid. Be very afraid. Okay, back up here to the charts. Okay, I think we got, let's check on the old break stuff we got here. We've got a whole minute left, so let's take a look at one other stock. Give me one second, and we'll get it right here is CLSK. We haven't looked at this. This is one of the semiconductor stocks that is supposed to be really exciting. You can see it's really done very much through here. I mean, it's still in a downtrend, and it's still working lower. If we look at this on the long-term weekly, this has had a what we call from uh, went from 44 down to two, but that only says part of the problem, folks. This used to be a hundred and sixty dollar stock back in 2018. I went from 160 to 10. Hello, oh, to four. Hello, operator. 877-927-6648. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, 
gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, and I want to talk about the E-mini here. But remember, this is Tiger Dollars Week, so you want to save some money, go to the website and uh, save some money because you certainly can. I want to move every day, like we're getting ready for this live trading a seminar that we're having live trading on Friday from 9 to 12. What I usually do when I set up, I have a setup where I think the highs and lows are supposed to come in during the day. You'll notice from this low here to this high, you'll see that we would have been expecting on that day, which would have been Monday, to see a 382 retracement. And it hit it one, two, three times right at the 382 retracement. And that told us that we were going to go higher. And then uh, this was the overnight market right here. You can see here. And now we've made the target we were looking at was 56.42. The high was uh, 56.45. Uh, and uh, we would have been you know, looking at that. Now we've come down. You see, we've had another another reason why this was so important because these were all ABCDs, folks. I just want to show you the last one that we had now, just so you can see it. This is when you're using these smaller time frames. You can get to these levels that are pretty much spot on, and there's a number right there at 46, and the high on the day was 45.75. Now, what's happened so far since that time? We're going to go down to an eight-minute chart so we can see the smaller swings. There's where we are. We're going to move it over here just a little bit because I just think we made a 382 here. And we'll be looking at that from this level here to this level here. And there's our 382 right there at 36. So watch that one very, very closely. You sell at 36. You have to put your stop up here at 42. But it should be able to make at least 6 to 10 cents on that because if we start taking out these lows, you'll be looking at a much lower ABCD. Now, one of the things we do here... I mentioned about the Tiger dollars. Very important, folks. Try to save some money for yourself because uh, it helps everybody all around keep going and keep these shows moving. But what what looking at these things on a shorter time frame is really quite important. And the reason for that is the shorter time frames lead to the larger time frames because all the market ever does is A, B equals C, D. It does it in different formats sometimes, but eventually it's just like what Mandelbrot and Gartley talked about. These patterns repeat over and over again, and they are predictable within limits. Okay, so there's the S&P. Now, let's move on here to do one other thing, and let's take a look at this gold market because the gold market is doing its best. Let's get up here to try to make some type of a bottom in here. You can see there's where we were. There's the 382 right here. Uh, just, just a second here. i got to get the right price in. There it is right here. There's where we were Monday. Okay. Oh, dear. Just a second here. And then we came down last night and went right up to the 382 twice. You hit it once here. Hit it again right here. Look at this. Even this is tradable. You're talking about gold, which is $2,500 contract. Or, $250,000 contract because it's $100 an ounce at this price. You can see here 
there's your ABCD pattern right here. There's AB equals CD right on the money, and it has a rally well over $1,700, which is the harmonic number. It goes above the 382 again, but look how quickly it gave it back up, folks. So when that happens, you want to try to get back in again, and it gave you a chance right there. Makes a nice little 61% retracement. If we go down looking at it a little bit smaller, you'll probably see what I'm talking about right here. And there it is right there. There's your ABCD coming in at the high. Remember, they took out the stops here at the 382. Comes down, makes the AB equals CD. Let's just draw it in, Larry, so the whole gang can see it. There's AB equals CD. And there it is right there. And what does that tell us? It tells us that the bottom should have come down in here somewhere. And voila, there it is at 2357 and it immediately rallies $1,200. And it looks like, given the fact that it's consolidating at this level much higher than this, we're probably getting ready to another make another move uh, to the upside, testing that 382 possibly one more time up there at that 2376 uh, level. Now, if we break below this, of course, you know, all, bet, all bets would be off. Well, believe it or not, we have a quick... Uh, to look at cattle and hogs so give me one second here we're going to start out with the cows first last i checked they were oh there there was a high up there doggone it son of a gun we missed that one we were looking for this high to come up here near around 86 looks like yesterday we got as high as 88 and then we had a big break today let's look at this on a little shorter time i missed this one folks that that would have been a Pretty nice area to sell up into this area right here. There's a small, oh dear, really missed this one. Hold on, because we got a smaller A, B, C, D on this daily that I missed. And that took you, oh, look at this, right to the high today at 88, and we're already down. Whoa, wow. That's, that's a huge move, folks. Let's look at this on a smaller time frame now. We'll go down to the... Um, uh, well, that is a small time frame. No, that's the daily here. Let's look at the look at the smaller time frame. Okay, here. Uh oh. Oh no, bad tick, folks. Just a second. I'll try to rephrase this. Yeah, there it is. Okay, here's the here's the, the, the today. There's the market today. This was the opening. Oh boy. Prior planning prevents problems. There's your high today in the cattle right here at 185. Okay. Now, what we like to talk about is the 135 pattern. There it is, okay? The high comes in exactly at the old 382 right there. See, if, we did, if this had been a Friday trade, folks, bing, bang, boom. That would have been from 85 to 81. That's 2,000 American dollars, and you're only risking about uh, 200. So that's a beauty. Now we've had another breakdown, so we want to watch for the next 382. We'll go up and we'll see the big 382 would be coming in right about here. So I'm going to be watching that over the next few days, see if we get that. But that's what we'll be paying attention. This is a home run trade, folks. You can't you can't uh, knock this out. You got lower high, lower highs, setting right at a 382 with a 135. Just uh, and you'll notice on the the three to five move will probably be exactly 50 percent. And there it is. There's 50 percent, 618 all at the same time. Now let's move over to the little piggies and see how they're doing. One second here. And here's where we are right here. Uh, it starts with an H. I don't know why. This is what I don't understand. Is they, Hold on. Okay, here's the hogs. Ah, they've been down for a long time. Now they're trying to make a bottom. So maybe people are going to switch over to pork. Now we've got, uh, well, we've got something nice here. Let's go to the four hour and we'll look at this. This will be... This would be a good, possibly a nice setup coming here for Friday. Now, these are the last few days here, going back to the 12th of June. And, oh, we got a potential. See, if this this is too low, too low for a head and shoulders, folks. Otherwise, it would be a beautiful head and shoulders. But by the mathematical formula that Andrew Lowe uses, cannot use that. So here's what we'll be watching here. Blow this. Oh, my gosh. Time is almost up. Remember, folks, Tiger Dollars. It's a can't miss. That's a non non disclosure what is it? non secure or whatever they call it. You can't miss that. Uh, saving money. There's your ABCD, 87 cents, down another penny or so. Let's take a break. 
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. TFNN has launched The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I had several emails saying, uh, could I have been off by a day in the stock market? Well, of course. But what we do here is not being right or wrong. It's trying to lose as little money as possible. Don't be concerned about what you make. Be concerned about what you lose. Now, we're trading right here almost exactly where we sold it. The problem was it went all the way up here, which is, you know, 100 points. That's $2,000. That's too much. Now, today, we had the first sign is that there's a possibility that this may be something because you had your AB leg here. Your measures right down. You can see there's your ABCD leg right there. There's your 1.618. Now we're having a rally, and with two hours to go in the stock market, that's plenty of time. This is 13 minutes. You're going to get about eight bars in here. But watch this closely because this may be a tip off from the high that we made right here last night. It's not very high to get there, but right up here, about another 20 points, is going to be the 382 up in this level right here at 2060, 2076. Now, if and I'm, this is a giant if with a big I and a big F. If it doesn't get any higher than this and closes down in here, yes, there's a possibility we could have been a day off. Or not we, me. <laughs> anyway, because it was uh, I was the one that did the work on it. So we're going to see if it, that's the case. Now, the way the market's action with everything else, I have not seen that. And I've studied all this stuff through the many decades I've been doing this, where you see the new highs to new lows happening more often than not. There's an interesting chart that someone sent me that I thought was uh, quite interesting. This is the chart of the going back to 19, 
28, folks. You'll see 1928, there's 31. This is the lowest number, okay? See that? The lowest number of stocks participating in the market. Only a handful of stocks are participating. This taken out the lows from 70 years ago, boys and girls. That's a big deal. Well, more than that. I see 20, 80 years ago. Anyway, do something nice for your friends. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And I'll see you on the flip side tomorrow.